Hello friends and welcome to episode 3 of Storyteller Plays Pokemon Penumbra Moon, a challenge mod for Pokemon Ultra Moon. In the last episode we finally dressed up Lars to look a tiny bit closer to a Poetica. Not that all Poeticas have yellow eyes, just the ones that monotype Ghost. And at least at the moment, Lars is monotyping Ghost, as I've only got the one. What's the matter, Marshadow? Mm, this is our buddy Lucky, he will be seeing us through this adventure. Have my last purple bean. He's full now anyway, so let's continue. Hello there, Ilama. That's his name, right? It's close, it's uh, Ilima. Greetings, Captain Ilima here. So, you've spotted me sticking up one of these lovely stickers, have you? You did what now? That's vandalism, Ilima. Oh yes. If a young trial goer or if young trial goers collect these stickers as they travel and follow the path they indicate, they will quite naturally progress along their island challenge. Really, if I had to describe them, I would say these stickers really save trial goers like you. But I cannot let my guard down. If those team skull thugs have far or those team thug skulls have uh, team Thug... Why do I keep trying to do that? Team Skull Thugs have far too much time on their hands, and they always, they're always they always trying to get in the way of trainers on their island challenge. I have to keep an eye on them to be sure they don't take, my, er, take down my stickers. I've actually just had a report that Team Skull was seen making trouble around town. I suppose I should go have a look. Well then, young Lars, I hope you'll have a delightful time running about in uh, to search out and collect totem stickers. Collecting totem stickers. What's the deal with Team Skull, though? Why are they trying to mess with these things? I don't know. I don't think we've interacted with Team Skull yet. Can't form an opinion on them, just off based off of something somebody said. Hello. If you give your Pokemon medicine and Pokemon refresh, they can cure poisoning or whatever else. Yep. Yes, it's about 1500. Fine, tell people what time it is. Except that time in this game is offset by uh, 12 hours because I'm playing Pokemon Moon. I'd like some Roserade tea, please. Yeah, that's within budget. Here you go. One Roserade tea just for you. This highly aromatic tea is made with extracts from Roserade's favorite leaves. When you drink it, you may find yourself wanting to pedal dance. This is the same for everyone. Whether you're outside playing or laying around sleeping, Time just keeps on flowing. How you spend it is up to you. Remember that time you enjoy wasting is not time wasted. You are limited to one per day, but have a tea biscuit on us. This chocolate is just ridiculously sweet. You obtained a sweetheart. Aw. Ah, oh, sweet. We got some poke beans. Hopefully some more purple ones, because we just ran out. Whoops. I didn't mean to talk to you again. Yeah, no, leave me alone. Do I need to heal up? Pokemon? No, I should be good. I promise I'm not easily distracted. Pokemon, let's buy. Do I have any repels? No. I'm gonna buy 20 repels. At least until I get another ghost type Pokemon. I don't want Marshadow leveling up too much. And I don't like to be an annoyed anyway. A lot of balls. Why are Beast Balls so expensive? They've got a shit-ass catch rate. I'd like to buy some Dusk Balls if I'm going to be hunting for ghosts. Nope, move to leader, you're good where you are. I think the move Reminder is at the very end of the game, so it's weird that they gave us access to the deleter so early. Ooh, a sticker! I probably can't get that from here, actually. The bush is in the way. How's it, Lars? If you're looking for good eats, you found them. And plus, Malasadas make your Pokémon like you, and affectionate Pokémon are better at be uh, better in battle. Who could resist giving their Pokémon a few Malasadas, eh? They're just so cute. Yo, 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 check it out! Whenever, wherever we meet you, Team Skull, don't even greet you. I don't know, it sounds like you greeted me with that stupid rhyme. Yo, you want to throw us a bone and hand over those Island Challenge amulets to us now? Oh, so you're part of that Team Skull, huh? 
All you guys ever do is steal totem stickers and people's Pokemon and get in the way uh, of other people's island challenges. You know it. We hate the island challenge, yo, and every kid fool enough to try it. Yo, let's check these fools. Lars, come on. Let's teach these Team Skull jerks not to get in the way of anybody's island challenge. Okay. Yes. I'm not scared, Rotom. I also didn't read what uh, the guy said. Shame on me. Team Skull Grunt. And Quillfish. I know that Hisuian Quillfish is dark poison, but I think this one is water poison. It did, however, just lower my attack, which is rude. Let's Thunder Punch it. It was super effective. Brine. That wasn't. Let's go for one more Thunder Punch. Super effective. Rest in pieces, Quillfish. Nice. Lucky grew to level 14. But to send in Duskull. Oh no, however will we combat Dusk Skull? Dusk Skull. Let's Shadow Sneak. I should also learn how to speak. Oh, it survived. Hex. That would be super effective if I wasn't... Oh no, it was super effective. I guess fighting has no resistance to Ghost. Ghost is immune to fighting, though. Over already? Yes. Let's go ahead and dry off. Marsh Arrow real quick. There you go, Lucky. Good as new. No fair. I was playing a different game. Let's get up out of this port, B. Nobody has to know about this. We don't know, or we don't need your whack little amulets anyway. Wouldn't even take them if you gave them to us. Those Team Skull Jerks really must have too much time on their hands, yeah? But keeping other people from doing their island challenges isn't gonna make it like they managed to finish theirs. You know? I can read good. I already went down to the marina and screamed out over the ocean, Watch out, world. Someday I'm gonna beat even my old gramps in an all-out serious battle. So maybe I'll go try to find some of the totem stickers next. See you around. What a lovely battle you showed us there against Team Skull. My thanks to you and your Pokemon. Why don't I heal your team to express my gratitude? I must admit, I've been wondering about you since I saw you at the trainer's school. Professor Kakui brought you along, and uh, your Pokemon seemed to, uh, seemed to defeat your teacher so effortlessly. This is not a good start to an episode. I can't read all of a sudden. Very well then. Allow me to see if, you, yeah, if you're ready for my trial. Yep, let's go. Behold the magnificent Pokémon of the one and only Captain Alima. And Captain Alima Morrow's normal type, kind of like our mother does. On that note, he's got six Pokémon and I've got one. Sent out a Skitty. Come on, Lucky. Yep, and Skitty is immune to Ghost, so let's hit it with an Ice Punch. Or not. Smeargle. I don't think there's a whole lot Smeargle can actually do to us, so let's hit it with a Thunder Punch. Rest in pieces. I'm almost level 15. I'm dealing? I'm sorry, little friend. I'm going to have to hit you with a Fire Punch. Super effective one-hit KO. Nice, we're level 15. Let's learn Rolling Kick. Sure. What does that do? The user le uh, lashes out with a quick spinning kick. It may also make the target flinch. I don't want to give up Ghost move, but I'm going to be getting, I guess, Ghost-type Pokemon soon. Our word's good. And we can now take out the rest of his team. One hit KO. Good job, Lucky. Young Goose, did it just make a fart sound effect as it landed? Oh, it survived. Because it's got a focus, th focus sash. 
Whatever, another rolling kick will take you out. I'm surprised he didn't try to heal. And a cute little skitty. Let's go ahead and rolling kick. Rest in pieces. Oh, the critical hit was probably unnecessary, but I appreciate it, Lucky. On that note, stop leveling up. It's a Stantler, lowering my attack. Probably should have led with Stantler. Huh, I missed. And now I'm confused. Okay, Lucky, do not hit yourself in confusion, please. There we go. Super effective. Defeated Captain Elima. Yes, you have emerged victorious. Can I have more money, please? When was I hit with water? Oh, well, let's dry off Lucky. You, or should I say you and your Pokémon, make quite the interesting team. I do hope you'll come to Verdant Cavern and attempt the trial, the trial of Elima. You can get there from Route 2. That Rotom Dex of yours will show you the way. I bid you Alola. Yeah, you beat Captain Lima. Don't stop now, kid. Keep moving. Aw, here you go, little buddy. I need to click you somewhere else because you are making me uncomfortable. Ooh, a sticker. I need 80 totem stickers. It's gonna take me a while to collect those unless I cheat. Wait a minute, Lars. Sorry, I didn't read that. I am spacing out something fierce. Oh, I'm glad to see a familiar face. I always get lost so quickly. I can't figure out the roads here. I can't even buy my own clothes. But you, you're moving on to your first trial. You're going to Verdant Cavern? I read something in an old book once. It said that the island challenges were once a journey made to prove yourself and gain the strength to battle against the guardian deities of Alola, like Tapu Koko. The people in Iki Town said that Tapu Koko lives po er, loves Pokemon battles, didn't they? If we could meet Tapu Koko once more, do you think we would find the answer to why it saved you and Nebby th uh, that day, Lars? Pew. Oh yes, please take these. They're called revives. If you you er yeah, if you use one on a Pokemon that has fainted, it will recover and feel a little better. Lars, good luck on your first trial. I will hope that you uh, it goes well for you. My word's good. Come on, hit kid. Let's head to Route Two. Murar. There, Lars. I've got this ornery creature calmed down for now. Why not try giving him a little pat again? That's the only way he'll get used to you. Okay. Whoa, something is going on with that transition. Let's go ahead and touch its forelegs. That's not weird at all. Hmm, Taros didn't seem to care for that. Pretty sure I have to grab its horn. There you go. Moo. Maybe old Taros here. Yeah, I can feel your love for Pokemon. He sure seems happy to know you. And yet, it still seems like to me like Tauros wants to stretch his legs on his own island challenge. Ha! What, you want to play tag now? The Mele Mele Kahuna never loses friend. Hey, traveling is pretty fun. I wonder what we'll find on up ahead. Probably more weirdos. Let's go. What are you doing? Careful out here, young trainer. Haven't you seen the grass, or the, the, the way the grass shakes on Route 2? The rustling grass hides a Pokémon that's dying to pounce on some easy trainer target. But battling these feisty creatures will be worth it. They sometimes drop items after battle. I'll get it later, I gotta fight this lady. Welcome, trial goer. Think you can handle the ordeal of defeating a beauty? <laughs> Probably. What do you even have? Only two Pokémon? Fanfy. What is Fanfy? Like, ground? Normal? I think ground is weak to ice. Or is rock weak to ice? Whatever that... Whatever Fanfy is, is weak to ice. I think it is ground. And let's go ahead and finish it off with a sweep of the leg. Nope, Fanfy avoided the attack. And continues to just spam bulldoze. Sweep of the leg. I don't know why I keep using Rolling Kick. It doesn't have that good of an accuracy, apparently. <gasps> it's a furret! 
My buddy the Rios loves these things. Also, I missed it, or I managed to avoid it. Giga Impact. Okay, let's care for Lucky. I need another Pokemon. Lucky's leveling up too fast. Yep, something about the trial. I'm gonna get that dirt off you with this. Let us continue our adventure. Avoid the small child. There's a graveyard over there, but I don't have any dusk balls. It's also broad daylight. Crab nab. Crab roller doesn't seem to want to let you past it. It seems to be forcing you towards the motel, in fact. That is a weird thing for a crab roller to do. We're right by the sea, that's right. Welcome to my wonderful seaside motel. My crab brawler sure is something, isn't he? Or ain't he? He nabs passes and brings them to me so I can uh, get them down by the bay. He's actually a little too good at his job. So I've got no vacant room left, rooms left to offer you. That doesn't mean you've come for nothing. Here, follow me this way. Uh, I'd rather not. <laughs> Dang it, crab. Fine. I'll play your silly game. Let's head to the beach, Rotom. See the look of the broad expanse of the beach? Yep, whatever, I did not read that correctly. Oh, you want to fight me. Okay. You probably only have water-type Pokemon anyway. Surfer Carlton. Delibird? I don't think that's a water-type. In fact, that's flying ice. But it is flying, so Thunder Punch. I knew you could do it. War Turtle. That is a weird water type for you to have, but Thunder Punch. Super effective, but the War Turtle lived. And he's Rock Tomb. I should really heal my Pokemon. Rest in peace, War Turtle. Lucky grew to level 18. I'll ride waves even if I'm not feeling it. That's what surfers do, after all. Oh, Rotom's a little depressed. Let's poke him somewhere that's not down there, because he's weird. Oh, yes, the beach. I'm surprised Hal's not running around screaming here like he was the last beach. I've seen enough. Bye! Mwahahaha! <laughs> Nope, can't get past. Fine. I'll go explore the beach. Rude crab. Hello there! What can you tell me about Mantine sh surfing? I guess that's the Mantine. Surfing water. Yep, I need to... It's dangerous, so I gotta beat the Kahuna. Thanks for wasting my time. Hello there. Can you move tutor my Maw Shadow? Can I even talk to her? There we go. Yes, I've got plenty of battle points. Ooh, a low kick. That's a sweep of the leg. I have no battle points, though. So let's go ahead and just leave. Look, it's Team Gr uh, Skull again. You'd better be ready for this mischief masters of Team Skull to do some Mantine surfing, too. That's probably what he said. Oh, Team Skull, you know you guys can't ride here. What's up with that? We look like kids to you or something? No, the real reason is... Yeah, the real reason is... Every time you try, you make those ridiculous dance moves, even on Mantine's back. And then you end up in the water. You want us to stop dancing? That's our identity, yo. That's all we've got. Man, forget her, B. We're Team Skull. No one can stop us from acting hard-headed. Somebody, please, help me keep those numbskulls away from Mantine. No way, Team Skull is here too. There really is no escaping them. You're right. Let me go ahead and heal up my Pokemon. Yep, here you go. 
That was not a very good potion. Okay. Let us go ahead and fight Team Skull. What are you looking at, short stuff? Huh? Huh? Wait? Huh? You're that kid. You want to scrap, Tiny Trainer? A eh, battle, yo? You might have you, know, you might have beat us in Haulu City, but we're, we've put our heads together, or we'll put our heads together to beat you this time. Why can't I read? Maybe my brain slowly leaks out my ear as I record. Although this is the first recording of the session, so there goes that theory. I don't know what this one is. Dark water? Let's go and try a rolling kick just for fun. Boom! It's super effective, so it is part dark. But it had rough skin. And a rocky helmet. That's overkill. Sent out to Drowsy. I just got rid of my dark type move. I mean ghost type move. So I guess I'll hit it with a rolling kick. Sweep of the leg. Probably should have known that wouldn't be very effective. Uh oh, I'm weak to psychic. What am I, a dark or a ghost poison type? Vinepede. Well, another fire punch will finish you off. Probably. I've been wrong before, but that was enough. Defeated Team Skull. Yo, I'm feeling mad annoyed that my team just got destroyed. Seriously, Home Slice? You're too strong for a kid, yo. Ugh, I gotta go make someone else miserable to feel better. Let's go mess with Ilima again, B. I'm down with that. Verdant Cavern's pretty close by anyway. Hey, you. You better listen to what my homie says and drill it into that thick skull of yours. Seriously, you'd better not forget them, skull. <laughs> Those two are idiots. Nice one, kid. Mantine won't be subjected to their terrible surfing skills thanks to you. You're a decent trainer, just like I'd, like I'd expect from a trial-goer on the island challenge. Why don't you take this from me? Thank you! A water! I only saved Mantine. But you could take on Captain Lima's trial, well, with how well you handled that battle. Even Kahuna Hala would probably say you're ready to take on all of Alola. If he says you that you're ready, come back here, and we'll get you on Mantine in no time. Okay, this time we're really going to make it to the trial site. Yes, no more distractions. Poke. Cool, Crab Brawler's gone. Lucky's in pretty bad shape. I should go heal. What are the odds this trainer can take me out? There is a Pokemon Center just on the other side of here. He's got two. I don't think I've fought anybody that only had one Pokemon, actually. No, uh oh it's a Murkrow. Okay, Lucky, as long as it doesn't get a chance to hit us, we'll be good. Let's go ahead and hit it with a Thunder Punch. Good one hit KO. What are you sending out now? A horsey? Huh. That's not a shiny. Was that a luxury ball? I think that was a luxury ball. One hit KO. Oh, thank you for that critical hit, Lucky. You are too darn strong. I really need another ghost. <laughs> Murkrow, you shine even brighter. I don't think you had your Murkrow in a luxury ball. Well, you did and I wasn't paying attention. Both very likely. Verdant Cavern. It's showing very high numbers. It would. It is the heart of this cave that lies the... Uh, in the heart of this cave lies an item that has an undeniable connection to the Blinding One. I certainly would like to investigate this place. Shall we go then? No, it seems that people are not allowed within the Verdant Cavern without sp specific reason. We should ask the President to arrange for some special accommodations on our behalf. We don't yet have the means to capture Pokémon on our own, after all. And Pokéballs aren't expensive. Yep, they don't look like anyone else. Don't be rude, though. Some people are just weird. I'm very weird. You're exceptionally weird. And I'm glad we're all in agreement. Heck yeah, narrowly avoided that trainer. What's up, Hal? How's it, Lars? Your Pokémon doing all right? Not so good. 
Same here. I know Poplio and the rest of my team have seen better days for sure. Come on, Lars. Let's stop by that PMC. Private military company. You know that verdant cavern place, right? I guess it's kind of like sacred to Tapu Koko. Uh, uh, you aren't allowed to go in unless you're on your island challenge. Oh yeah, almost forgot. I have something pretty amazing to share with you, Lars. You lucky thing. Stop giving me revives. I only have one Pokemon at the moment. Revives are a solid item to have. If your Pokemon faints in battle, you can't go on. Then, a revive will perk them right back up. But you probably won't find revives here. Did you know that Pokemots sometimes sell different things? And no, it's not just that. The two clerks at the counter even sell different things from one another. Yep, got a Rotom Dex. Blah blah blah. Rotolato. Rotolato's pretty pe overpowered. I think it's nerfed in this mod. But it is also weird that you unlock Roto Power so early, considering how OP it is. Yep, what did I get? Two Roto Boosts. Roto Boost Power boosts your, boosts your stats. Yep. Uh, I wonder what kind of... What other kind of p Rotom powers there are, too. Yes. Why can't I read? I think I am losing my mind. Do you sell Dusk Balls? You do? You also sell Dusk Stone, Dawn Stone, and Shiny Stone, though, which is a little weird. I'm gonna pick up 30 of these. Which is most of my money. Although I'm not paying attention, and nobody's sold Quick Balls yet, though. Let's go ahead and pick up some Super Potions. I'll buy 10. And full heals are pretty pricey, I'll leave those be. I've not been recording long enough to call this an episode, so let's go try to catch a ghost type. In broad daylight. Critical hit does more damage. Thank you for explaining the obvious. Let's go to the graveyard. It is daytime, though. Here we are in the graveyard in broad daylight. Looking for a ghost type Pokemon. Sweet, a paralyze heal. I wonder what else we'll find around here. Other than people wanting to start a fight. Oh yeah, I used a repel. Going to have to have that wear off. I just heard a Drifloon noise. Ooh. There's a TM right there. Fine, I'll fight you, small child. But only because I'm waiting for my, my repel to wear off. It's a little baby ice type. Yes, Lucky, I know. We know how to take out ice types. It's going to use Rolling Kick. Ice is pretty fragile, so I suppose it makes sense that they're weak to fighting. Huh. I think this difficulty mod has turned everybody into monotype trainers. But where'd this kid get ice types? Let's learn move copycat. No, I know what that one does, and I do not want you having it. Why, I lost. Well, you look pretty thrilled to have lost. Hey, trainer. What's throw a ball with the Y button mean? Well, I'll tell you when you are older. Yep, there are Drifloon noises. I am stupid, but I know me my ghost type sounds. Let's see if I can't sneak around and grab that. She doesn't see me. Confide. I don't think that's particularly particularly useful to me. Repel war off, use another no. I'm here to catch a ghost type. And we got Hey Mr. Vus! Mr. Vus evolves into my favorite ghost type. Okay, let's see if we can't catch him. I don't think that I can hit him without him dying. So I just have to hope that he'll decide to stay in the dust ball. Oh no, it appeared to be caught. Confuse Raimi, I don't care. I'm clearly already delusional if I'm throwing dust balls at you in broad daylight. 
Oh, almost had it. Watch this be how Lucky faints for the first time. This isn't a Nuzlocke, obviously. Hell yeah! Gotcha, Mr. Vess was caught. Good job, Lucky. Mr. Vess. Congrats, you registered the Pokemon in your Pokedex. What makes it happy is in imitating voice. Uh, what ha makes it happy is imitating the voices of weaving people and scaring everyone. It doesn't deal well with those who aren't easily frightened. Well, it's cute regardless. Yes. Mm, this little man's name shall be Mork. We've now got a ghost type. Let's see if there's any else or any others around here. Looks like we found a ghastly. I'll throw two or three dusk balls at it, but if he doesn't stay in the dusk ball, I'm not keeping him. Come on. Oh, first one. This ghastly really wanted to be on the party. Registered. Poisonous gas comprises 95% of its body. It's said that its remaining 5% is made up of the souls of those who died from the gas. It's pretty dark. Yes, I will name you. Bum 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 bum. Stinky. Let's go. Oh, looks like it's rolled a lot of time. Yep. We got whatever that was. Amazing power. Roto stealths. Well, those are kind of useless since max repels are available immediately and rather cheap. Let's go ahead and check out my new Pokemon and refresh real quick. What are you looking for, Lucky? I'll give you some pats. And then we gotta move on. And switch to Mork. Hello there, little buddy. Yep, I'm glad you're amused. I have no purple beans to give you. Here, have some red bean. Yummy, right? Okay, so Mork likes head bats. What if I touch your crystal thing here? Does not mind. And could not care less. Oh, no, doesn't mind the hair tips. Doesn't mind the face. Looks like there is nowhere that Mork is annoyed by being touched. Have one more bean, and then we'll see what Stinky is up to. Haunter is still one of my favorite Pokémons, so I don't know why I'm calling Ghastly Stinky. I was looking for a Drifloon. Can have a red bean and some pats. Don't mind if I touch your eye. It's kind of weird how small they draw Ghastly, because this dude's actually huge. He's like five foot tall. Like five feet in diameter, I'd imagine. Let's go. Pokemon. Mork. In summary. Doesn't know a lot of good moves, so it would be silly to evolve him now. Oh, you're holding Gangarite. That's... okay. I have no way to evolve you, but let's go. <laughs> I know that sometimes in these ROM hacks, they'll make it to where you can do trade evolutions by level. That might be the case for this one as well. Greetings, Captain Alima here. And my trial begins mere steps from you here in Verdant Cavern. Note that the Pokémon living within Verdant Cavern are quite fierce. I wouldn't venture in unless you've prepared some potions and so forth. Though attempting the trials during the island challenge, or through attempting the trials during the island challenge, one can exceed his or her own limits. Uh, what about their own limits? Come on. That is what the Alolan people believe. 
Once you enter Verdant Cavern, you will not be able to leave until you have completed the trial. Are you prepared for this trial? Yes. What if I die in there? Does my corpse have to finish the trial? I said I'm ready to go, but I'm going to come back in here and buy more stuff. I'm now out of money. I'm broke as hell. Let me formally welcome you to Verdant Cavern. I'm your Captain Elima. Allow me to explain the basics of my trial. What you should attempt to do is... Oh look, it's a Rattata. They can teleport. Defeat three of the Pokémon that lurk here in their dens. Then reach the pedestal deep within the cave and collect the Z-Crystal there. You'll need to complete... Er, uh, you'll need to be completely in sync with your Pokémon to succeed. Kiki-kiki-kiki! Oh dear, and there's one more thing I forgot to mention. Many strong Pokémon make their home in this cave, but one stronger and more fearsome than the rest is known the po as the Totem Pokémon also resides here. It will be the greatest obstacle you face as you attempt my to clear my trial. By the way, until you clear the trial, you will not be able to catch Pokémon in Verdant Cavern. This is but one of the eight trials you will face during your island challenge. And it begins now, the trial of Captain Ilima. Trial start. Mm, but what do you th actually do in the trial, huh? Yep, that's an ex excellent question. Max Repel. I forgot to heal. Oh well. Yep, let's look inside this small den. I did just catch two more ghost types, but they're a bit underleveled. Look at that, it's a level 22. What would a level 14 ghost do against that? <laughs> Rest in pieces. Don't worry, my other ghosts will level up decently throughout the course of this trial. Two more Pokémon to defeat in this area. Ooh, a ball. Super Potion. Let me go ahead and tap on Rotom real quick. Rotom, what was that? A wild Rattata appeared. Come on, Lucky. Look at that. This one's also level 22. Rolling kick. Did it try to quick attack me? Rude. One more Pokemon to defeat. There was a... Ball here. Brick break. Didn't I just tap on you, Rotom, so that you wouldn't get all depressed like this? Mm, come on, buddy. Mm, there is my target. It, however, will keep moving around. Can I crawl through this? Yes. Danke. Let's look inside. There's nothing inside. It's up there now. Oh no. If only I got the assistance of some... Team Skull Grunts. Now it's over there. I'm going to pick up the ball before I interact with the cave. Thank you. Small den, look inside. It's over there now. Whatever will I do? Yo, yo, yo! It's your bad beach boys back, back again, remember us? Sorry, who are you? Oh, I see. That's just because we switched places, you can't tell us. <laughs> just because we switched places, you can't tell who we are anymore. That was it. Who cares about that anyway? We're here to mess up his trial, yo. Oh yeah, that's right. Yo, let's get that Pokemon, homie. Okay, I'll fight you, but y'all are stupid. Uh oh, he's got six Pokemon. Mm, Joltik is bug electric. I don't think electric is resistant to fire, so fire punch. It's super effective. Why would you put a focus sash on your Joltik? One more fire punch will take it out. Yep. 
Nice, Smork is level 15. Stinky is now also level 15 and wants to learn Nightshade. Nightshade can be pretty handy at higher levels. I suppose I'll get rid of Spite. Spite's useless. At level 100, Nightshade does 100 damage. Oh, that's a Mistrevus! On that note, I got rid of my Ghost type move. Let's try to Ice Punch. Use Will of the Wisp. And I'm now burnt. At this point, Hex would be super effective. What just happened? Oh, it's holding leftovers. Let's see if we can't burn it then. Oh well, doesn't matter. Friendship effects are kind of overpowered. I mean, Lucky just immediately decided he wasn't burnt. Why not? Uh oh. That's good news, Thunder Punch. Mirror Coat, but it failed. Mm, fire Punch. And he's burned. Destiny Bond. Let's go ahead and switch out to... Mork. Mork is underleveled, but I do not want Marshadow fainting here. Destiny Bond, but it failed. That is not a very powerful burn. Let's go ahead and just use... Psy Wave. It doesn't have to do a lot of damage. Finished it off. Good job, Mork. Hound Hour. Now that is Dark Fire. Let's go ahead and use Confuse Ray on it. Ouch. Rude. Bite would have been more effective, but whatever. And Pokemon. Let's go ahead and switch back to Lucky. Hurt yourself in confusion. Of course it didn't. That's whatever. I just plan on uh, rolling kicking it. Let's go. It's super effective. What if I still only had Lucky and this Team Skull Grunt used fucking Destiny Bond? That would have been unfortunate. Nice, Mork is now level 17. What is Scorpy? I'll use Ice Punch. Scorupy. What was that? Special defense rose sharply. I'm not using special defense, or special attack rather. I'm using attack attack. It's super effective. I should have opened with fire punch. I for some reason thought Scorpy was part ground. Is it cool for me to be in Team Skull if I'm this brittle? You had six Pokemon. Yo, what's up with that? For real though, I can't get my skull around it. This kid's mad strong, yo. Nah, it ain't even like that. This kid is straight up dangerous, homie. I know, man. This whole place is trouble. Yo, I total er yeah, totally is, homie. I mean, that thing is so strong that regular Pokemon don't even want to come out and battle. Yo, kid, you want to know? Uh, you know, there's a mad strong Pokemon lurking around back here somewhere, right? I'd run if I were you. Nah, we're not gonna uh, going out like that. We gotta get our revenge. Go stand over by that den and catch that skulking Rattata, yo. For real? Fine. I got no bones to pick with you. These guys are idiots. Let's go. Let me go ahead and uh, heal up real quick. Okay, everyone's healed up. Nope. Rotom is all depressed. Now look at this weirdo. Well, I suppose that's not unusual. That's weird. That's not too weird. That's very weird. Now I'm just clicking at the top center opens the Pokedex. If I poke his eyes while Rotodex isn't active, he does this. My point is he's a huge dork. Let's go.
<clears throat> uh oh, it's eradicates. Lucky still has the high ground. Rolling kick. I wish I had some leper berries. I usually give myself leper berries a couple episodes in. Three episodes is too early, though. Defeated all Pokemon. Now I just gotta talk to this guy, right? Will you heal my Pokemon for me? That'd be cool. Yep, fantastic. Prove my strength. Not going to heal my Pokemon? Yes, my first Z-Crystal. Fine. Too bad I don't have Tauros. Let's go ahead and finish this. I already healed up my party. Let me go ahead and save it in case I need to do something stupid and come back. You feel a strange, piercing gaze. Where the hell did I get the word strange from? You feel a piercing gaze that seems to cut right through you. But from where? Yep, let's take this Z-Crystal. Exclamation mark. Oh no, it's another Rattata. It's a heckin' chonker. Raticate. The totem Pokemon. I called it a Rattata. The big chungus of Rat... Raticates. Uh-oh, it's Defense Rose. Which is bad news for me, because I use... Physical attacks. Rolling kick. Oh, it's super effective. The Raticate Feigned. Is this some kind of trap? Am I being punked? You defeated Totem Raticate. Raticate disappeared back somewhere into the cave. Okay. Yeah, I'm incredible, aren't I? For you to be able to defeat the Totem Pokemon that I had trained up to such a powerful state, I don't know what to say. Yeah, I feel like that was a glitch. There's no way that should have worked out that easily. Working in harmony with your Pokemon, you have cleared the trial of Elama. Elima, why do I keep trying to call him Elama? You're a phenomenal trainer. Congratulations, Lars. The Z-Crystal from the pedestal is now yours. I got Normalum Z. None of my Pokemon have a normal type move. I had the ability to teach... Lucky one, I just chose not to. What you have just received is the normal Z crystal. It is known as Normalium Z. Now, if you let a Pokemon that can use a normal type move hold that, and strike an elegant pose like this one, then you will be able to strengthen a normal type move by unleashing Z power. Moving right along. Ah yes, first there is one thing I forgot to mention. The totem Pokemon. In every locale where a captain holds his or her trials, you will encounter a particularly strong Pokemon, like Raticate just now. And during battles against such Pokemon, they may summon allies to shore up their defenses. It's not a tactic often seen in other regions. And perhaps a Pokemon er perhaps Pokemon in Alola are simply more inclined to help one another. Since you have managed to defeat the totem Pokemon and prove yourself, you can now try to catch the Pokémon you find here in this cave. In fact, have some Great Balls. I only use Dusk Balls, so if you wanted to give me some of those... And here, let me see your Pokémon after all their hard work in here. If you're done here, I have something interesting I'd like to show you. Come with me to Route 3. Congrats on passing the trial. Uh, if I had a heart, it would have been pounding the whole time. I had fun. That's my partner, all right. Piece of cake for you, was it? <laughs> yeah, you can say that again. Look at that, it's Roto Lotto time. I got boom. Look at that, it's an amazing power. Two Roto Friendships. Roto Friendship is a power that helps you become friends with your Pokemon quicker. We go ahead and check those out. Huh, it doesn't tell me how long they last. I'm pretty sure that Roto Powers were nerfed by this challenge mod. Also, it looks like the sun is setting. I will be ending this episode here. Like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and fizzity farewell.